Hello, welcome to lab 6 of your Orgo 2 labs. Today we are going to learn about nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Please notice the nomenclatures. In this experiment, we will substitute one of the chlorines in the aromatic compound A with a methoxy group which is a nucleophile. There are two chlorines in compound A, so there is a possibility of forming either of compound B or C. Melting point will be used to identify which compound is formed. There is also a possibility that both the chlorines get replaced with the methoxy group, forming compound D. A mixture melting point would be necessary to distinguish between C and D. Nucleophilic aromatic substitution is the reaction of aryl halide by the addition and elimination mechanism. This is not SN1 or SN2 reaction. This type of reaction takes place when strong electron withdrawing groups are ortho or para to the halide. The more deactivating groups in these positions, the faster the reaction rate. The electron withdrawing group at the ortho or para position stabilizes the negative charge. Structures 3 and 5 are the most stable resonating structures since the negative charge is on the oxygen atom. After the addition reaction, the intermediate undergoes elimination to form the product. Now let's start the experiment. First we will take measured amount of 1,2-dichloro-4-nitrobenzene. Note the weight of the compound taken. Here we have measured 15 ml methanol and 10 ml 25% sodium methoxide in methanol. Now we add these three chemicals in a 50 ml round bottom flask along with a boiling chip. This will now be gently refluxed for an hour. As we see here, the solution has started refluxing. This is after an hour. The solution turns yellow. Notice the reflux ring in the condenser. The heating mantle has been removed to let the flask cool to room temperature. Then we add 15 ml of DI water in a separatory funnel. The reaction mixture is also added. The reaction flask is washed with the rest of the water which is around 10 ml. Then we add 10 ml of dichloromethane.
The bottom DCM layer is drained into an Erlenmeyer flask. Again 10 ml DCM is added to the separatory funnel. The DCM layer is being taken out. The yellow aqueous layer is taken out in a beaker. The DCM layer is returned to the separatory funnel and washed with 10 ml clean DI water. The bottom organic layer which is the dichloromethane or the DCM layer is then drained back to the Erlenmeyer flask. Two large scoops of magnesium sulphate is added to the DCM layer to trap the remaining water. Note the weight of the clean round bottom flask. Using a fluted filter paper, we filter out the magnesium sulphate. From the filtrate, the solvent is removed using a rotovap. Note the weight of the dried crude product in the flask. For recrystallization, the crude product is now dissolved in hot methanol. While hot, drops of water is added until cloudy. Again hot methanol is added until the solution becomes clear.
it is allowed to cool to room temperature and then in an ice bath note the weight of the filter paper our product has crystallized filtering out the crystals in a vacuum apparatus note the weight of the crystals with the filter paper note the melting point of the crystals For the mixed melting point the crystals are mixed with a shown compound Note the melting point of the mixture this is required to identify the product formed The NMR and the IR spectrum of the product is also shown here.